I don't delete things. I have every email that I've sent or received for the last, I don't know, 15 years. I have notes from meetings that I took a decade ago. I have a list of baby names that my wife and I came up with for a child who's actually now an adult. For the most part, it's easier to just store these things than it is to go through them all and organize them or delete them. And digital storage is actually pretty cheap, so it's not hard to just back your stuff up forever. Unless you're a photographer and then things get kind of tricky. You've got thousands of high resolution files that you're trying to store and year after year they accumulate and grow to the point that you run out of storage space. And if you do video work, well, you've got problems. Video files are huge. Let's say you're trying to record 30 minutes of 4K footage at 24 frames per second. That comes out to something like 360 billion pixels that you're trying to record and save on your hard drive. And that's just for one video. Imagine if you do a video a week or multiple videos. The amount of data that you have to store is colossal. The raw footage from my last video was 24 minutes long and it was something like 117 gigabytes in size. That's something like five gigabytes per minute. If I shoot 30 minutes of footage like that every week, we're talking about seven and a half terabytes of data by the end of the year. And that might be fine for one year, but then you get to year two or year three or year five and it keeps growing and growing and you can only own so many hard drives. And that's just for local backups. You gotta back all that stuff up to the cloud too, right? In case your house burns down or something. Try to find an affordable way to back up 30 terabytes of data online. The amount of money that you have to spend just to back up your old video files is just not sustainable. And I finally reached a point where I had to ask myself some hard questions like, do I really need all this data? Do I really have to keep all this? And the answer is, of course I do. What if I need to go back and use it to edit something out for another video or make a compilation or use it as B-roll? You never know when you're gonna need that old video footage. So I looked for solutions. I read hard drive reviews. I asked other creators. I reviewed online services. I shopped everywhere, I read everything. And after doing all that research and comparing all the solutions available, I have the answer. The answer is that video storage is too expensive and I have to delete all my stuff. That's not the answer you wanted. That's not the answer I wanted, but that's the answer. There are good reasons to keep old video footage, but when I really questioned myself and how much I needed those files and how much I was actually going to use them, I couldn't justify the expense of saving them. I thought about how many times I had actually gone back to a video I made a year ago to do something with it, and the answer was almost never. I thought about all the compilation videos I might do in the future, which is basically none. I'm probably not going to do that. And chances are, if there's something I do need, I can probably just cut it out of the exported video that I posted online. It's not a perfect solution, but it's good enough. Now there is definitely gonna come a time in the future when I wish that I had access to some old raw footage for something that I wanna do. However, the consolation prize is that I'll have a crap ton of money left over that I didn't spend on video storage that I could instead spend on lights, microphones, cameras, lenses, whatever else I need. That's a pretty good consolation prize. So for all my channels, all the videos I've done over the last several years, I went through and extracted the exported file, the final file that I uploaded to YouTube or delivered to the client. I saved that and I deleted everything else. The raw footage, the images, the audio files, the assets, everything just blew it all away. All that stress and anxiety, gone. To give you an idea of how much space I saved, all the videos I've done for this channel over the last two years now fit in 150 gigabytes. Everything I have now fits neatly on a single SSD drive with tons of room to spare. It feels good. You should think about deleting all your stuff.